Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Tricky ones to be careful of. Y is equal to X plus five. It's not really considered a tricky one, but it's a common mistake when we have just the letter. And so what we're gonna be looking at is the equation Y is equal to MX plus B. Oftentimes students, when they see just the value or, or just the variable, just the letter X and no number, remember we said, that the value in front of x represents our slope. And there is no value here in front of the value, the, the letter x. There is, but we, ne we don't really write it. It's not considered proper math. And in fact, the value in front of x really is 1. So, thing to note, if there is no number in front of x when the equation is in the form y is equal to mx plus b, then the value of the slope is 1. And as we said, if the slope is equal to 1, remember what we said? That the whole number represents the rise. Now notice how there is no run value, but the run value is always 1. So the run value, the run value with whole number slopes is equal to 1, always. Another trick you want to be careful of, y is equal to 3. So if we look at this and we think about the equation y is equal to mx plus b, Notice how there is no x value. Because there is no x value, it means that this equals to zero. It means that the slope of this example is equal to zero. So which means that y is really equal to our b value. And our b value is that number, in fact, right there. So that B value, which is our Y-intercept, in this example, the Y-intercept is 3. So therefore, if there is no M value, which results in the absence of the letter X, when the equation is in the format Y is equal to MX plus B, then the value of the slope is 0, and your equation is a straight horizontal line. So let's look at our grid. And in fact, if we look at this value, y is equal to 3, we said that the y-intercept is 3, which means we have here, as we said, a horizontal line that goes right across the value of 3, which means that if y is equal to 3, well, what is the value of y here? What is the value of y here? Here, 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 here. The value of y is always 3. So y is always equal to 3. And that's really what that equation represents. There is no slope. And keep in mind that when we have a horizontal line, a slope is 0. The y value here is always going to represent whatever that number will be along that um, the axes. And it represents our y-intercept. Another trick you want to be careful of, x is equal to 4. So, therefore, if there is no y in our equation, when the equation is in the form y is equal to mx plus b, then the value of the slope is considered undefined and is represented with a vertical line through the value of x. So let's look at our grid. And now this is the opposite of what we saw in the previous example. We notice that, well, we have the equation y is equal to mx plus b. There is no y value. So we have what we call an undefined slope, which means an undefined slope 
is a is a, is a vertical line going through the value of x. So our x value is 4. Okay, so we're looking here at the x-axis, which means that it goes vertically through the value of 4. So the value of x at every single one of these points, x is equal to 4. And the slope is un defined.